Hi there, welcome back to Creatively Crafted Life. My name is Melanie and this is another installment in Finish It February where I focus on working on projects in progress, whether they be an album, classes, or anything that I've got in the works and either make progress or ideally even complete. For this week's installment, I was focusing on my month in review album for 2022. I had all the pages done up already, they just needed photos and journaling, and I have the journaling done, they're just not in the book yet. <laughs> and in the interest of getting this video up in time for you guys to see it within the month of February, I've opted to share with you at this point the journaling are going to be cut into strips and will be either featured along the bottom edge or in some of them they have more space along the side so it's wherever I can fit them in is where they're gonna go okay so here we go here's what 2022 month in review looks like I actually struggle to get enough photos <laughs> uh, I know that sounds a little bit funny but I have found over the past few years that I don't take a lot of photos of my day-to-day -day life and really that's what I use my month in review for um, it's maybe not your typical concept of month in review where I don't do everything like for instance if I travel on a trip I rarely will include photos in here unless I'm short of photos because I'm going to document those anyways right so I'm going to document those trips and I don't need to keep repeating it multiple times so the way the album is supposed to work is this is kind of the front of each month and then as I complete the layouts and you'll see as we go along that I have some layouts done I insert them in between now if it works out that I end up with a blank page not a big deal I have a ton of great f filler scrapbook paper cardstock that's just pretty to look at and I will slot one of those in maybe add a quote maybe not and call it done so for this particular um, year I did use up a pink fresh collection offhand I don't remember what the name of it is the layouts are similar but they're not all exactly the same and I had different configurations of photo placement the it does repeat but it's not exactly the same every month okay so this is January and this is how February turned out and you can see here this is probably where I'll add the journaling because I've got lots of space there what always amazes me when I do these layouts is how often the pictures actually coordinate so well with the um, pre-made pages. You wouldn't think they would, but somehow it always seems to somehow connect and look okay. This is March. Another trick that I use quite often with albums like this, if I have, like in this case I had, um, five designated photo spots is if I'm short I almost always have photos of flowers or flowering trees there's something I just love to take photos of and so I will place those in if I have nothing else to add here is April now in this case I did make a trip to Las Vegas and I am going to be documenting that but I had so many photos that I'm okay with adding a photo in here I am going to do a separate album for Las Vegas the Las Vegas trip and so there's probably not going to be much in this album anyway so it doesn't hurt to have that that one layout or that one photo in here here is May I was really focused on walking it was one of my big goals in 2022 and so you'll often see um, screenshots just to show my progress here's an example of a layout that was done that happened in May so like I said, this is just my month in review, and then I'll have any other layouts that need to be filled in. So at the end of the day, I will have one album for the year. Well, or maybe more, depending on how, depending on how uh, busy of a year I've had. This is June. Here is July. And August. August has a few other layouts in here. So I had done some classes and had filled those in already. September, October, in addition to seeing screenshots of my step count, I also like to include screenshots of where my YouTube channel is at membership wise. 
my channel is very slow growing and that is okay I, I do this for fun but it is still fun to see you know that more and more of you are interested in what I'm sharing and uh, have become a friends and it's an encouragement to keep on doing that here is November and we wrap it up with December. Now a couple of these photos were in my December daily but again that is a separate book so it's okay if I if I just have a few um, of those photos kind of embellishing these pages especially if I don't have any other photos to fill in. I have to do a better job of that so I gotta remember that for 2024. Take more photos. Okay, so that is another project that is basically done. I'm still going to have to add in the journaling, but basically it is finished as far as those pages go. Obviously, 2022 still is a work in progress, but you know, one step at a time. I hope you are finding inspiration and encouragement in this challenge and that perhaps you are looking at some of your projects that are in work, in the work, so to speak, and are working or focusing on trying to get them done or at least make some progress. If you have previously shared what those are and you've made further progress, I'd love to hear about it. Or if you started on another one, please share it in the comments below. And until next time, happy crafting.